Good morning. So today's vlog is coming to you from a very sunny Whitstable. Charlie and I decided to bring our two little chaps on their first UK staycation together and we decided to come to Whitstable. It's in, I didn't actually know where it was before, I, before I checked them out. It's in Kent in the southeast of England. Um, we took a southeastern train to get here from St Pancras and it only took an hour and 12 minutes. It was one of their fast trains so it feels like not even that long ago that we were having breakfast in the station and suddenly we're out of the city enjoying the fresh beach seaside air and we've just checked in to the marine hotel this is where we're staying really lovely little room dog friendly which is the most important thing and we're just about to take the boys down to the beach even dex has never been to the beach before so it's going to be so nice to see if he can swim <laughs> i'm just kidding he's definitely not going to go and see um but it's gonna be really nice to take them down to the beach and neither charlie nor i have been to wisdable before so we kind of were just looking at a map where the southeastern trains go and Whitstable just caught our eyes so we've chosen our dates really well it's it says it's 22 degrees but actually it feels more like 28 degrees here so we're just gonna get changed I'm in my travel outfit and um, gonna explore the town on the seaside with our two little chaps what do you think boys shall we go to the seaside shall we go to the seaside come on then mummy get changed So our hotel is literally right on the beachfront. It's on this little promenade behind me. And then this is the view from the other direction. It's so still today, even the wind turbines in the distance aren't even moving, which makes me really tempted to try some paddle boarding. I think we're gonna have a little look in the town um, and see what's on offer. So we have walked about 20 minutes down the kind of coastal pathway with the dogs and I think now we're in a town called Tankerton uh, so we need to go one street back to find the high street I'm still craving my chips so hopefully we'll find a good chippy so basically we haven't made any particular plans aside from half thinking about what pub we're gonna go to tonight for dinner so yeah we're just gonna take it take it easy that's what these little day trips are all about um, Charlie's just been taking photos of these colorful huts I didn't realize they had these um, yeah, like beach huts. I just realised that the wind's picked up and you probably can't hear me. But yeah, we're going to carry on exploring. So I'll let you know when I get my chips. Okay, so I'm officially one very happy girly. I've got my fish and chips, or technically I've got my battered sausage and chips on the seaside with my three boys Dexter sunbathing, Dickens is in the shade what have you got darling? Charles has got scampi and chips scampi and chips I've got my battered sausage it's amazing to think that this type of tranquility is just over an hour out of London yes. So you know how I said a minute ago that Dexter wouldn't be going in the sea? Well, now it's already changed. So Dexter just decided to hurtle after a massive seagull, continued to follow him into the sea, and he's now a very wet puppy dog. Oh, and the chickens are trying to eat my sausage. These two little rascals, so naughty. <laughs> Charlie's now having to carry a very wet Dexter. Come here, Rooney, my soggy boy. You naughty little chap. Naughty little chap! Have you been for a swim, little man? Have you been for a swim? No, he just can't walk. if you can see me because it's so lovely and bright outside um, but Charlie, Dexter, Dickens and I have now just come back to our hotel, the Marine and we're in their orangery, this lovely bright conservatory 
and we're doing a little bit of work. As you guys know, bloggers on holiday just means basically working in a nicer place than our living room. So Charlie and I are both on our laptops. However, I've got a glass of Pims, as you must do when you're on holiday, and Charlie has got a black coffee. Hardcore. And then I've got little Dicky fast asleep on my lap. I think him and Dexter are absolutely exhausted from their long walk and our fish and chips by the sea. Dexter is going to have to have a bath later because he has got seaweed stuck to his tail. Um, but yeah, it's been a really lovely afternoon so we're just catching up on a few emails now. Then we're going to quickly freshen up and head out into town, look for a nice restaurant for dinner um, and just explore even more. So I'm going to crack on with some emails and I'll see you later. <laughs> A slight deja vu. Charlie and I are now dressed for dinner. Looking very smart, not very beachy attire. Without the yapping. Without puppies. the two pooches. So Charlie and I are taking the beach route that we took a minute ago with the dogs. Hopefully the iPhone footage wasn't too horrendous. Um, but it's kind of this beautiful golden hour now. Look at this view behind me. Oh, it's going to be the most incredible sunset. Um, because this is beautiful lighting and it's going to be hot tomorrow, we thought we'd come down now and take some photos of these little beach huts. I don't know why, but I didn't think that Whitstable had these huts, did you? Um, I didn't think about it, but yeah, I mean, every beach has these sort of huts, but oh. they're stunning, aren't they? We had a little nosy inside one while kind of like craned our necks to see inside one earlier, and you can actually fit a lot in them. This guy had they're like... They're like a TARDIS, aren't they? Yeah, little hammocks, a little kitchen area, um, and this amazing balcony. I mean, imagine just opening your doors on one of these huts and having your morning coffee with that view. It got us thinking about the George Clark amazing, amazing spaces. spaces. Yeah. And what you could do. I mean, I think there was one with the beach hut. But what sure. you could do, you could have, you know, like a bed that changes into a kitchen counter. To, yeah, and they would be you know. so much cheaper here than like Brighton or Margate you, well, or anything. You think they would, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's got quite an expensive feeling about it, doesn't it? But they're such cute colours. There was one that was like a refreshers bar that was pink and yellow. So hopefully we'll be able to find that, get some nice photos. And then I think Charlie's craving oysters for dinner. And where better than the British seaside? So let's see what we can find. Charlie looks like something out of a horror film, I'm not gonna lie. He's got one of those, oh my goodness, that's actually really scary. <laughs> it's one of those face masks that makes him look like a cat. Um, as you can see, I've got a load of oil on my face, which is what I feel my skin needs tonight. I think it's gonna be a case of four in the bed tonight because um, Dexter just jumps up on the bed anyway and then Dickens cries when he's the only one not in the bed. So I don't think Charlie and I are gonna get a terribly good night's sleep. Um, but this evening's meal was delicious. We kind of just walked through the town and this place called Birdies was really full. There were loads of people in there, which is always a good sign. We did do kind of a lap of the town, which looks really cute. We're definitely gonna go back and explore the town a bit more tomorrow. Um, but I had a fillet wellington for my main and it was delicious. Charlie had a seafood broth kind of thing um, and then we bisk and then we shared a Whitstable mess instead of an Eaton mess and it was scrummy so I highly recommend birdies if you come down. Um, so yeah I'm gonna catch up with you guys in the morning. Time to snuggle with my three little boys. Well Charlie's not little. Um, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it is our second day here in Whitstable. Charlie and I had a lovely night's sleep, cuddling up with our two little sausages. I woke up with one sausage on either side, both lying on their backs, just brotherly love. Um, and I actually woke up at six o'clock, came down to the beach at 6.30 to take the boys out for their morning ablutions. And it was so stunning, I just had this whole scenery to myself, nobody else around. 
it was one of those really lovely moments. <laughs> but Chaz and I have now left the hotel. We had breakfast at the hotel, very scenic, looking out onto the ocean. I had a full English and Charlie had some local haddock, 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 haddock Benedict. We are now out and about again, making the most of this gorgeous weather. We are just walking to Whitstable Town. We've just explored Tankerton High Street and now we're heading to the town, which we kind of saw last night, but everything was shut because obviously these seaside towns, everything shuts quite early. So we're just making the most of gorgeous weather, walking there now with the two boys. Probably gonna be about a 45 minute walk, but a very scenic one. Come on, Dickens. past couple of hours um, exploring Whitstable High Street. It's a very cute little high street, lots of nice coffee shops. We went into a florist and bought a new plant pot, <laughs> went into a pet store. Um, sadly no harnesses for the right size for Dickens. Uh, and then we walked along the harbour where there's loads of like kind of pop-up stall type things. We can get oysters and fish and chips. Some are more rustic than others, let's just say. Um, but how are the oysters, darling? Yeah, they were really good. I actually really like oysters now. But I, think I never you're used very to. Very brave. No, but they're, they're, the they aftertaste is a bit odd. But with a bit of yeah. Tabasco, they're, they're meant to be really good for you as well. Where's Dickens? He's here, oh, look. At my feet, as always. Um, so, yeah, we're walking back towards Tankerton Bay now, which is where the hotel is. And it's about half two now. I think we're going to aim to get a train at about half three. So, we're just going to make our way back. I might try and show you my outfit although you have seen most of these elements before, um, at the beach hut that is painted like swizzles and matlow colours. You'll see what I mean in a second. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Bye.